Hi guys, Anthony here. Today's a special day because we got a collab with Hamish James. He inspired today's workout, my Australian friend. So go subscribe, link in description. Starting off here with bent over rows, using 95 pounds to warm up. We're gonna work up from here to now 135 pounds. Remember to keep those elbows in and shoulders back. Control that weight. Now we're doing 155 pounds to really push ourselves. These are the working sets. I'll drop back down to 135 pounds, bending my knees for stability as well. Awesome way to start the workout. We got planned the super set here, doing chin ups to build those biceps and upper back. The super Superset is any pull up variation with a bicep curl. Try this superset with push ups so you can follow along as well and watch your rest times. It's important to stay focused. But just doing those chin ups, I got to get into it right away. Dumbbell bicep curls, I only had about 10 seconds to rest. Definitely feeling the burn. I like finding new ways to better myself. Your potential is endless, so don't give up. Enough said, get that work done. We're switching up that pull up variation from before. Wide pull ups. These build the lats, but will also work other parts of your back. If this is too challenging, try lat pull down supersetting. It's a great regret that will still work the same muscles. Wide pull-ups can be really, really hard. After that first superset, I wanted to give up, but no, I can't. I gotta keep going. I was making way too many faces this workout. A few tips for bicep curls are curl to that shoulder, keep your chest up, and try not to swing like me. I felt this workout for literally three days, and I've been working out for about eight years. The life of a natural bodybuilder. Okay, so these pull-ups are really, really wide. I wasn't sure if I should do these, but I wanted to give it a shot. They were challenging, but I wanted to give you guys something new. Effort is key. Instead of doing the bicep curls again, I just wanted to do the chin-ups, just to fatigue myself and give all the energy I got. Now these bicep curls with just 20s felt like 100 pounds. If you don't have weights at home, literally curl anything. I used to curl 24 packs of water or potato bags. Weight is weight, you control your progress. Now we're doing the V-bar rows with the cable. I like these for that mid-back work. It can be hard sometimes to target. I've noticed when some people work out, they look around a lot. Try to keep your eyes on one thing. It helps with the mind-muscle connection. Don't get distracted. I want everyone to remember this. Whatever dream you have is possible if you you don't stop working. You don't gotta go to the gym every day. At least make it three times. Now we're on to the next exercise here. Cable bicep curls with this curvy bar. I like training with this because it gives me a different feel. Anytime you use a different attachment, it doesn't work the muscle the same way. If this bar was straight, it would feel different on my arms. Just something to keep in mind when you use attachments at the gym. I don't really try to go my heaviest. I just focus on progressive overload and doing my best. It's not about the weight, it's how you feel. Single lap pull downs. You pull down to one side and then alternate to the other. Other. A great isolation exercise. I haven't done these in a while. I'm happy Hamish recommended these. If you don't have a lat pull down machine, try using a towel over your head or even a band, holding it straight and rowing down on one side then switching to the other. Remember to stretch guys, because when we do these exercises, it does tighten those muscles. Those muscles do get sore, but stretching will definitely help. Even a foam roller, five to 15 minutes a day can make you feel so much better. I will never turn down regular lat pull downs. They just feel great. And it's so simple too. Pull down to that chest, control the weight the whole rep and relax. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share.